The Russian president's retaliation against his chef was best enjoyed cold. The sight of a jet shot down by Yevgeny Prigozhin's soldiers crashing to earth was one of the most memorable scenes during his military uprising. Vladimir Putin will be hoping that the alleged murder of Wagner commander Yevgeny Prigozhin will put an end to the group's alleged effort at revolt earlier this summer and ward off further threats to his leadership. According to reports, there was a gruesome symmetry between the video and the sight yesterday of the jet crashing through the skies north of Moscow while he was aboard. That may have been the goal all along. Two months after the incident that called for it, payback for the Russian president was truly a dish best served cold when it came to the man they nicknamed Putin's chef. The message is still the same whether he planned the specifics or left it to the Slavaki or securocrats, that Prigozhin had targeted with his coup. Treason is not rewarded. There was no reason to think that Prigozhin would wind up being an exception to Putin's policy of never tolerating traitors. He will be hoping that the alleged killing will put an end to that embarrassing rebellion, scare off future threats, and strengthen his control, which the attempted coup had already begun to erode. The likelihood would worry Ukrainians who believe the revolt would first bring Putin to an end and then, if it failed, at least weaken him. But the fact that Prigozhin is almost certainly dead will nonetheless bring about feelings of happiness throughout Ukraine. He was the one who recruited soldiers with the promise of freedom if they survived six months on the war lines and sent thousands of Russia's worst criminals beyond their borders. They were dispatched to support Putin's destructive invasion, wipe off the Ukrainian population, and demolish their cities. One of the prisoners was given back as part of a prisoner exchange after he defected to the Ukrainians. Wagner gave him Yevgeny Prigozhin's favorite method of execution as retribution. A sledgehammer was used to smash his skull after it had been put on a cinder block. The Wagners gleefully posted a video of the appalling conduct on social media. That is the type of terrible private army that Prigozhin assisted in building and afterward used to hire mercenaries to rape, pillage, and massacre people throughout Africa before Putin requested their assistance in reviving his war in Ukraine. However, Wagner was helpful to the Russian soldiers during an offensive. Currently, Russia's primary concern is defense. Its troops have been mining and digging fortifications along a 1,000-mile front for the whole summer. The Ukrainian counteroffensive has so far been unable to penetrate such defenses. The conflict is now at a standstill. Ukrainians worry that up to 15% of their country will always be under occupation. Even if Prigozhin is no longer alive, in their eyes, there are still many more demons from where he came from that are wreaking havoc on their nation and becoming harder and harder to expel.